true and third main difference once you add you'll get 1409 1409 and here they stated 0 0 so n plus 1 0 plus 1 1.409 1.401. So B is equal to 1409. A is equal to 93.40. Understood? Finding out log, anti log is very important here. Next, with this detail, you can find out, estimate the trend values. With this detail, you can estimate the trend values. So equation is Y is equal to A plus, sorry, A into the b the power x so this is the equation y is equal to a into b x uh, see the years for 2003 now uh, just find out 2003 2004 2005 uh, then 2006 2007 8 2009 estimate the trend values by using this equation for 7 years so y is equal to a plus sorry a into bx a how much 93.40 into into b how much 1.409 the power x, x how much for 2003 minus 3. Minus 3. Then 93.40 into 1.409. Minus 2, then 93.40 into 1.409 minus 1, 93.40, 1 93.40 into 1.409, 1. 93.40 into 1.409 By using this equation, you can find out the trend values. And one more equation. This equation also. By this equation also you can find out uh, is the trend values. So how we can find out that is log y log y is equal to log a plus x into log b. This, with this equation also you can find out uh, trend values. Uh, the answer will be same. Uh, log y for 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2000. <coughs> the log a, you can see log a is. 1.9703 plus x into log b log b is 0 0.1488 then 1 1.9703 plus x into sorry in the place of x here minus 3 minus 2 into 0 0.1488 1.9703 plus minus 1 
into 0 0.488 and 1.9703 plus 0 into 0 0.1488 and 1.9703, 1 into 0 0.1488, correct? Yes. One seven zero three two into zero point one four eight eight one nine seven zero three three into zero point one four eight eight. So this one is simple when compared to this one, this method because here we have to take a square of minus three. Think of square minus values, we know how to find out the square of minus values. So it take a little more uh, what calculation is required for that. So for positive move, it is very simple. We, uh, we can use our normal calculator and find out. For this one, we have to take one divided by this one and find out square of it. One divided by three. Then uh, take so it again it will take a log of that so it is extra work so instead of use this equation uh, uh, use this equation and find out log y find out log y this first case minus 3 plus 1.9703. We'll get 0 0.5239 and minus 2 to 1488 plus 1.9703 16 Correct, no? 0.6727. The first one is 1.5239. First one wrong, huh? This one? No, yes, sir. 1.5239. 488. Is one nine seven zero three. Okay, one point five two three nine log y. And for two thousand five, uh, point one four eight eight one point nine seven zero three. That is how much? Point one four eight one minus one point nine seven. What is the third value for two thousand five? Eight two one five. One eight. 1.8215 then this one is 1.9703 this one 1489.97 one, one, eight, eight. so this one is 2.1191 correct 97 
These are not trend values. These are log of our log of trend values. Uh, they ask to our uh, trend values. So now what you have to do to find out actual values, actual trend values, you have to take anti log of this all anti log of all these values. Find uh, actual values. You have to take anti log of it. So you can take anti log of it. Just so it's a little bit of work is there here. Yeah. Now check out anti log table. First one is 1.5239, that means 52. 52. And third column. Third column 3334. Three, four, and. Yeah. Can't see the other. Okay. That please meet your audio. But and did mute your audio. Okay, find out anti log for one point five two three nine fifty two three three third column three three four and ninth main difference that is seven one. Two, three three four one. It's like three three four one. So after second, so thirty three point four one. It's one sixty seven twenty seven sixty seven second four six nine nine four six nine nine and seventh mean difference eight. Zero forty seven point zero seven and for third one one point eight two one five one point eight two one nine so eighty two eighty two first column. Six six two two and fifth mean difference. Fifth mean difference is eight. So six six three zero. So it will come sixty six point three zero. Next one point nine. So ninety seven zero. Uh, that is nine three three three. Third mean difference seven. How much nine three four zero ninety three point four zero. Next two point one one nine ninety log for two point one one nine. So eleven eleven ninth column eleven ninth column. Thirteen point thirteen point five and first mean difference zero and here two so one thirty one point five that's for two point two six seven nine so twenty sixth twenty sixth row seventh column twenty sixth row seventh column one six four eight 
and ninth mean difference seventh column ninth mean difference four so it becomes 1853 so 185.3 and last one uh, 2.4167 so 41 41 sixth column 41 sixth column 41 sixth column 2606 2606 and seventh mean difference four so it makes 2610 2610 to 261 We're done with this one. Now, see, I calculated anti-log for all these values. So this one is the trend values, actual trend values. So I'll just write these values in column, table column for 2003. 33. Four one and for two thousand four forty seven point zero seven next sixty six point three zero ninety three point four zero one thirty one five next one eighty five point Three. Next two sixty one. So write down trend values. Next one more question they ask here that is estimate the value for two thousand twelve. Find the trend values by using the equation y is equal to a to b x. We calculate it. Next. Estimate the value for 2012. See what is the x for 2012? For 2009, for 2009, x is three plus three. So what will be the x for 2012? For 2010, four. 2011, five. 2012, six. So. Next one is be the sales sales for two thousand twelve. Estimate the sales for two thousand twelve. For two thousand twelve, the x is equal to six. X is equal to six. So you can uh, use this formula. Y is equal to A to B the power x, or you can use that also. So we already calculated what value of A and B. Value of A, value of A, ninety three point four zero into value of B, one point four zero nine. The power six a ninety three point four zero into this is into one point four zero nine power x. So take the one point four zero nine into six times into one point four zero nine. Then four five 
six, seven. How much you'll get? One point four zero nine power x. You have to multiply into six times, or you have to take the square six. If I use calculator, what is the value? Multiply into six ten. One point four zero nine. One point four zero nine. I'll get ninety-three point four zero into seven point eight two four seven. Correct. One point four zero nine. The power six is equal to seven point eight two four seven. Now find out ninety-three point four zero into seven point. Eight two four seven. We get to seven thirty one. Approximately seven thirty one. Correct. So sales for the year two thousand twelve is seven thirty one million. Clear. Yeah. So this is the way we can find out trend values and estimation under for exponential trend by using log values. Clear? Okay. Understood? Any doubt? If you have any doubt, you can ask. any doubt you can use your chat box if you if you have any doubt you can put there no doubt okay we'll see in the uh, tomorrow saturday so i have open a lecture we'll see in the monday okay monday we'll discuss one more problem under this method under exponential trend by using log values If you have any doubt, you can put in chat box also. Okay, thank you. I'll uh, wind up here.